material traceability is extremely important during fabrication of piping and equipment that will be used in oil and gas facilities. Welcome to Hot Heat Engineer. In this video, you will learn what is material traceability, why it is important and how traceability is maintained throughout the fabrication. So watch the video till the end and feel free to ask your question in the comments and I'll do my best to give you a satisfying answer. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe right now by clicking subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen. Because this way you will get a notification of a new video. Let's start with the video. What is material traceability? All the bulk materials such as pipe, fittings, flanges and plates that are used in the fabrication must be traced back to its origin at any given time. I mean, if you want to know who has supplied pipe or flange or fitting and what is its heat number at any time, then you should. The process of establishing a system that can trace any material with its original material test certificate is called material traceability. Now you must be wondering why we need such a system. Don't we get all the materials tested and inspected? You are right, all the materials used in fabrication are already checked and accepted before being used. That leads to the second question of this video. Why is material traceability important? In one of the projects that I worked on, we got a few hundred flanges from one supplier. After a few months, we got a letter from the supplier that there was an issue with one particular lot. These flanges were failing in the impact test. Now that most of the fabrication work was already completed, how will you identify those flanges with problems? A similar issue may arise in during the operation. Let's say some materials fail within a short operation time due to metallurgical or heat treatment related issues. To avoid future failure at other places, you must trace all such defective materials and replace them as soon as possible. In all such situations, you must replace faulty materials to safeguard your process plant. With the help of a material traceability system in your fabrication, you can easily trace and replace such materials. I hope you understand the criticality of material traceability. Before moving further on the topic, I want to ask you a question. Are you ready to advance your oil and gas career? You can gain practical knowledge from oil and gas industry experts with our various comprehensive online courses. Please visit my website hardhitengineer.com and accelerate your learning journey. Click the link given in the description and enroll today because that will take your learning further. Now let's see. How material traceability is maintained in huge process plants. This process starts with an inward material inspection. I have already explained this in my earlier video. You can check the link given in the description to watch this video. Before using the material for fabrication such as pipe and plate, they are marked with part numbers and material ID. Here you can see the photo of marking transfer. Original markings are replicated on all parts that are being cut from the original material. You can see here in the image what I am trying to explain. An inspection engineer is called to check the marking and put the unique stamp on each part so that this remaining material can be used in the future even if original manufacturer marking is gone. Now this marking can be done by a hard punch or by paint marker depending on the thickness of the pipe or plate. Here you can see the sample material identification inspection report. You can see the various fields that you have to capture while doing the inspection. Usually the inspection engineer puts a hard stamp on the material to confirm the acceptance. Here in this report you can see that one pipe of 8 meters is cut into 3 pieces of 2 meters each. So you have to replicate marking in all the 3 pieces and remaining part as well. Other bulk components such as fittings and flanges are marked individually and their markings are recorded during a fit up inspection. So when you move to the next fabrication stage, you will record the heat number of both components. I will cover material identification process in upcoming video. Now let's learn how to ensure proper traceability in the next stages of fabrication. Here in the image, you can see a pipe spool fit up. There are three components and two welding joints in this spool, a flange, pipe and elbow. Now we have three components that are going to weld together. Once these are welded, they are a permanent part of the project. So here if we establish tracking at this stage, it will remain traceable forever. Here you can see the sample fit up inspection report. 
This report records things like drawings, lines, spool, joint number and the joints dimension. Now these two columns are of interest and critical for material traceability. In our example, joint number 2 is elbow to pipe. So the first column records base material part 1, a 90 degree elbow and the second part a pipe. Similarly, the first joint is a pipe to flange. You have to record the material details of both components. When the line history sheet is prepared, these material details will get transferred into that. So this is how material traceability is maintained in the piping fabrication. The same material traceability method is used for any other equipment manufacturing as well. Now one common practice is to put a metal tag on the spool or write the spool number inside the pipe where possible with a paint marker. This will ensure that this spool can be traceable after painting also until the field installation. This applies to any kind of materials that are welded together. Still have a question? Feel free to ask your question in the comments and I'll do my best to give you answer. This is the end of the video. Please visit my website hardhitengineer.com to learn more about piping. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, like and share this video with your friends. See you soon with the next video. Goodbye, take care.